What's up guys, it's this guy back at it again for another video and I'll tr and today I'll be showing you how to make that crazy thumbnail which I've shown at the start of the video. So let's start. I'll be doing this um, in two ways and you have to have your YouTube account verified or this won't work. So I'll show you way one. So what you're going to first do is search up Chrome Store. Go click on that. And now what you're going to search up is TubeBuddy. And then this one shows. So, um... Now, because I've added it to my um, Chrome uh, web browser, uh, I don't have to download it. But if it says, um, uh, click the, like, what, like, if it says, um, let's say, yeah, if it says something like download now, uh, click that, and then, then it's going to show up a page which says, uh, do you want to add an extension and click add extension and then uh, you close this. Then let's say uh, I want to change the uh, thumbnail of this video. So what I do is right here. There's this like logo of TubeBuddy right here. And then what I'm going to do is click create thumbnail. You can choose solid color or an image, but for an image it's limited. You can only you can't choose any images that you like. Uh they choose an image for you from their library. And um, still frame from the video. That's what I usually do. I don't usually I don't do solid color, but let's do still frame. And then it's gonna let you scroll through and choose whatever one which you like about it. So I like this one, and I click continue. And then I do these shapes. for mine you can do whatever design you want and you can only add one image and then I just click shapes again click that this is gonna be I don't know, green the spec of my video uh, add this And then tr go to images and let me just say I want this in the video so I'm going to tilt it if you want the scratch person choose a transparent version not the white background version because white background doesn't look that well so whatever image you're using always choose the transparent not the white background and then I'll say continue I don't want this as mine, but if you want yours, click this, which I don't want to, so I'll click cancel. And then and then the blue save changes button shows up. So click that and then it becomes non-highlighted. So it's gonna be like this once you click it. And then what you're gonna do for the second method is use uh, Photoshop. And then, if you don't have access to Photoshop, this is just a um, free trial. So, what I'm going to do is go to Chrome, take a snap of this video, I'm going to take a screenshot, Command-Shift-4 for Mac users. 
and then I'm gonna copy it. Okay, now that I've copied it, let me escape this. Now it's gonna be in my file or my desktop. So what I'm gonna do is Adobe Photoshop, go to click that and then or you can go to file and then click open and then shows up that but I just dragged it in and then if you want it to be like blurry and stuff for your um, background certain people won't like know what's happening like so what you go to then what you do is go to filter and take a blur gallery and take tilt shift so what tilt shift does it makes the background blurry and just slide it down and then I'm done with it oh just make it blurry again and then what I'm gonna do is click OK so now what you're gonna do is choose what type of text one you you want to do so I, I like impact because it looks kind of aggressive so let's just do some random thing like no JS okay and then if you want it to look like 3d ish uh, just simply take the word again command C command V take the word again this time you're just gonna highlight it and then choose whatever color you want to make it 3d ish looking so I'm gonna drag it on top so it kinda looks 3d ish and then what you're gonna do is if you wanna slap in an image uh, let's say for this um, I don't know my logo no not really let's do the world's hardest PNG and then I'm just gonna slap it in there always choose transparent uh, images because that works out the best gives you the best results and then this has nothing in common with Node.js so I'm just gonna tilt it and then okay I placed it and that's basically it and uh, if you want me to do like the the first so I'm gonna start this new thing the first person to comment on this video uh, will get a shout out so comment down below what you want and fingers crossed that you'll be the first one to write a comment hope you guys like today's video don't forget to subscribe like and share we're still at eight subscribers if we can hit at least like 10 subscribers I'll go I'll do something very crazy in Scratch. And uh, as always, hope you enjoyed it. Peace.